Hey, my name is Jordan, and um, Google has recently introduced this feature that kind of lets you opt out of ad tracking. Um, and that's to comply with industry advertising standards, um, which is great. It's a great idea, except it doesn't work. And I'll just walk you through. Um, sorry about the noise in the background, um, the doing stuff. Um, but yeah, so they kind of secretly introduced it because they don't really want you to do it. But um, anyways, if you type in ad settings into Google and then click the first link that comes up, ad settings. You can see all this information. This is not correct. I guess I am a male, but um, yeah. Anyways, there's this option to uh, opt out of more ads. Um, and you're like, oh, that sounds like a great idea. It turns off ad personalization for the Google ads you see when you're one of the two plus million websites that partner with Google. It's a lot of websites. Um, anyways, it takes you to this website. Uh, it's optout.aboutads.info um, and it's powered by the Digital Advertising Alliance. And what it does now is does a really time consuming, consuming browser check. Um, which is not necessary. You don't need to do a browser check to opt out of something. Um, so yeah, this is just really frustrating. Um, this means that there are, so uh, yeah, just kind of checks that your internet's working, which obviously it has to if you're on this, if you wanted to get on the site. Um, this means that there are 134 um, advertising companies that track um, and connect with Google to kind of share that information about uh, ads and their your ads their ads success um, this is this is going to take a few minutes so I will skip forward to the next bit and we'll see you in a sec what I really enjoy is that um, it says the companies participating in the web choices tool provide transparency and choice under the principles um, but in reality you'll see that if you click opt out it doesn't actually opt you out it says oh there's a there's an error um, and it's been doing this for a long time, so it's not like a recent thing. It just doesn't work. Um, but yeah, that's where it says. You know, transparency and choice, even though you really don't have a choice, but we'll provide transparency and a choice. Yeah, anyways. <clears throat> Come on. Is this necessary? There we go. So it says, it gives you a thing saying the status check is complete and look, your internet works. Thank you. I could have told you that. So here you go. Um, these are all websites, companies that kind of track your information um, and share with Google. Um, and then Google lets them target ads to you depending on your kind of demographics and all that kind of stuff. Um, what I want to do is not let them track what I click. Like, I don't like that, why, no. Anyways, I don't know what they're gonna do with the information. Um, Google doesn't sell your information, that's what they say, but like, I don't know if Varric or V12 group does that, so I wanna opt out of all of these. What it does now is um, takes you to another time-consuming um, opt-out thingy, and yeah kind of opts you out of all of those 128 websites that um, track your clicks, I guess. Um, this takes quite a few minutes, so I'll skip forward a bit. Alrighty, and so that's probably done in a sec, maybe. Oh. Yep, yeah, so DAA web choices results. Opt out requests for zero participating companies were successfully completed for this browser. Um, yeah, so pretty much it's like went through the whole process and was like, oh, none of the requests were completed. Um, this could be a temporary technical issue. Um, you can try again, does the exact same thing. Um, yeah. So it doesn't work. Um, what happened the first time, I don't know if you noticed, but it said 134. It was the checked 134 of my subscriptions. Um, and now it says 128. I've done this quite a few times. The first time five were opted out. The second time one was. And then every single time after that, no um, opt outs were successful. Um, 
So yeah, it doesn't work. Um, which ultimately means that Google's not really compliant. Um, but obviously, nothing's going to happen. And yeah, it's just like, it's, it's just a little bit depressing. Like I'll check. I know Facebook was one of the, Facebook and LinkedIn were one of the um, companies here. So it seems Facebook is still there. Excellent. And then LinkedIn, let's see, LinkedIn is still there. Opt out temporarily. Ah, oh, there we go. Temporarily, now it says they're temporarily unavailable. That is fantastic. Ah, uh, yes. Mm hmm. Yeah, excellent. Um, anyways, doesn't work. Um, waste of time. Try it on your end. I know I have like a, a tracker disable um, Chrome extension, but um, I disabled it for this website because um, I thought maybe it interfered with their server or something. I don't know. Um, it was disabled, computer restarted, didn't work. Um, yeah, so understand your choices is um, kind of an ironic little thing just here. But um, yeah, do with that information what you will. Um, my name's Jordan, I'm into privacy, um, the news, and music. So subscribe if you're into those things. Um, if not, then why are you here? Um, but yeah, thanks for watching and sorry that this doesn't work.